I am here again uh, to discuss with you about uh, the design of a combinational circuit. Our today's topic is uh, how an elevator door in a story building uh, can be controlled. So here we see that there are three floor indicator signal, which one is F1, F2, F3. And there is also another uh, signal M, which indicates the condition of the elevator, either it is moving or is stopped. So we have to design a logical circuit for controlling the elevator door. So from the problem description, we see that there are four input M, F1, F2, and F3, and they are only one output that is open. So we have to decide when the door will be open for these four inputs. Let's proceed. We know that the elevator cannot be lined up with more than one floor at a time. That is not possible. Only one of the floor inputs can be high at any given time. That means we can consider all those cases in the throat table where more than one floor input is a one or don't care condition. So we can put don't care in the open output for those cases. Let us explain. Suppose the value of F1, F2 and F3 both are 1 in at a time. For that case, we should put don't care in the open output. Okay, because at a time uh, the value of F1, F2 and F3 indicates that the elevator circuit is in first floor, second floor and third floor at a time, which is not possible in reality. That's why it will be a don't care condition for open output. Now, uh, in the cases of M equal to 1, that represents the elevator is moving. When the elevator is moving, that times door will not be opened that's why the output should be zero for m equal to one and m equal to zero represents that the elevator is not moving it is stuffed that means only one when only one of the floor inputs is high at any given time the output open must be a one that means uh, for m equal to zero and f1 equal to one F2 equal to 0 and F3 equal to 0. It indicates that elevator is stuffed and it is stuffed in first floor. That times elevator door can be open. Another case, M equal, if M equal to 0, F1 equal to 0, F2 equal to 1 and F3 equal to 0. It indicates that elevator is stuffed in the second floor and the door will be open. Another case here, if M equal to 0 and F1, F2 both are also 0, but F3 is equal to 1, it will indicate that the door is stopped in third floor. So door can be open. So for these three cases, door can be opened. But when M equal to 0 and the elevator is stopped, but all inputs are 0, that indicates that the elevator is not properly lined up with any floor. That times open must be a zero. That means the door will be closed for that case. So here we see uh, that truth table. There we will get only three one here. First one. This indicates that the floor. The elevator is stopped in third floor and the door is op door is opened and in the second case it will indicate it indicates that the elevator is stopped in second floor and the door is opened <laughs> in the last case of one it indicates that the floor uh, the elevator is stopped in first floor and the door is opened and when m equal to one here, when m equal to 1 here, 
we see that when the value of m equal to 1 and uh, only one floor value is 1 that times the output is 0 but uh, in case of uh, if there is uh, more than one floor is one that times we put cross here suppose in the in in this case here f3 is equal to one f3 equal to one we put cross here here f1 f2 both are one we put cross here here f1 f2 f3 both three uh, floor indicates one that's why we put cross here same as uh, for this case uh, one here one here and we will put cross here so we realize that if uh, more than one floor value is one that times we put cross in the output section we will put one when the value of m is equal to zero and any one of the floor is any one of the floor value is one that times we put one in the output and we put zero uh, only two cases uh, when uh, the all value is zero uh, that times is zero and when the lift is uh, the elevator is moving condition is in moving condition and only uh, one below of uh, f1 or f2 or f3 is one that times we put zero here so after uh, writing through table we should proceed to the map simplification now we proceed to the maps uh, uh, before going to map simplification we see that if we um, simplify the truth table as a sum of product we choose uh, one and we should choose don't care also here we see that uh, we can write open uh, as a sum of mean term is one here for the for the mean term one output is one for mean term two output is two for mean term 4 output is 4 output is 1 so for the mean term 1 2 and 4 output is equal to 1 and at a time for mean term 3 5 6 7 11 13 14 and 15 it indicates don't care now we put 1 into 1 2 and 4 position depending on the truth table and we also put don't care uh, here depends depending on the truth table so how we put this one and don't care here here we know that this uh, square represents zero then this is one this is two this is three this is 4, 5, then 6 will be here, 7 is there, 8 will be here, 9, this is 10, 11 here, 12 here, 13, 14 and 15 here. So we put 1 into 1, 2 and 4 position from the truth table and we put don't care in the position of 3, 5, 6, 7, 11, 13, 14, and 15 position. So, uh, if we simplify uh, these uh, values, we will get here three functions. How we will get? For this one, we, we can consider this four below one one and this three don't care condition for this one we can consider this one and this three don't condition fellow for this one we can consider this one and this three don't care condition fellow so we know that already that uh, we 
can select 2 to the power n numbers at a time so here for the first one we see that we can select 4 4 that means 2 to the power 2 for the second one we can select also 4 numbers here that is also 2 to the power 2 and for the third one we can consider this 4 that means 2 to the power 2 so after uh, selecting all of the adjacent one we will get here three functions for this four number we can get that the value of m is unchanged for this four value that means m prime f1 is changed here here the value of f1 is 0 and value of f1 is 1 that's why we should not consider f1 for this four value we can consider another value here that is f3 the value of f3 here 1 so we uh, get m prime f3 for this four value now proceed to the next one so for this four value the value of m is also unchanged that is m prime and from here we see that the value of f2 is unchanged that means for this four value we will get m prime f2 now uh, proceed to the last one this uh, four for this four value we see that the value of f2 and f3 is changing but the value of m and f1 is uh, remaining unchanged that means uh, here the value of m is 0 and the value of f1 is 1 that means we will get uh, m prime f1 for this four value so we get open equal to m prime f1 plus m prime f2 plus m prime f3 if we uh, get common m prime that's time open is equal to m prime then first bracket f1 plus f2 plus f3 now proceed to the um, circuit diagram portion here we see that uh, we need one and gate three or gate one not gate here one and gate first we just uh, calculate m prime then calculate f1 f2 f3 via or gate then this and m prime into the end gate here m prime into f1 plus f2 plus f3 that is the output pretty simple output hopefully you will understand our topic today's topic and uh, if you have any confusion uh, please rewind it and you will understand if you are a new customer uh, so I will suggest uh, please subscribe our channel and feel free to make comment thanks thanks for watching